Hello again, I'm back, Lucha FM, with another fake football shirt review video. And in this video, I'm trying a new company called BRFAS1.com. I have to say that slowly then, because when I did it before, it popped up. So, BRFAS1.com. I think they're a backup website for another, like one of the popular ones. I think it might be KitGG, which more people might know of. So I am going to put GG in the title, but it, the website I used was brfas1.com. Um, when I went on kitgg3.com earlier, it, I think they, I think it asked me to download this browser thing, so I think maybe they're having issues. So don't go on the, if you if you know what the the new because Kit because these websites have to change all the time because they get closed down. So if you try kitgg, I think it might be 4.com, it might be the right one. I'll have a look in a second when I'm on here. Um, but yeah, I'll just quickly show you here. Um, so there you go. So that's the website, and um, these are the shirts. Some of the shirts you can get. Um, they're very well priced, uh, a very good price as well. Eleven ninety. You can get player versions, fan versions. Uh, they're all about the same price. But I looked at eleven ninety, eleven ninety. You've got different sections as well. So you've got Spanish La Liga, um, Premier League other teams as well so you can get Ronaldo shirt um you've got River Plate and then you've got Mexico La Liga um League League Un and then you've also got Formula One rugby NFL um Brazil football shirts um Italian Serie A Bundesliga training track suits as well I've bought some training track suits from um my other supplier and they're really good so these are probably be about the same as well um they're a little bit more pricey than the football shirts, but you're getting obviously you're getting a jacket, a training jacket, and a pair of track bottoms, so you can't really complain too much. Um, and then you've got retro jerseys here, so you've got all the the old school jerseys, and then you've got player versions, so you can have a particular shirt with a particular name and number on it as well. You've got kids as well. If you've got kids, um, you've got their jerseys, and, and then that's it really. But um, let me just type in kit gg4.com see if that comes up now nothing coming up so when i click on it oh it gg3.com for instance it comes up and it oh now it's not gonna now it's gonna work perfectly fine well it's not working now it was it was it was asking me to download something earlier um but yeah on that note um it's all right i got panicked then thinking why they why can they see my my face now but i closed the browser so it's fine uh yeah so um, so that's it really so i bought five shirts from them um the, the one of the shirts i wanted they didn't have so they all but they already sent out the four shirts because obviously they wanted to try and quickly send them out uh send them out as quick as possible i think it took about seven or eight days for these to turn up which is pretty good considering they're coming from china it might be less i can't remember don't quote me on that um and yeah i got five shirts so what we're going to do in this video we're going to look through the, the the shirts that i've bought and hopefully you'll get a better idea of how good this particular website is because i don't know because i've never bought from this the first order i've had from them so we'll see but they look all right from what i can see i haven't put any on yet but yeah we'll, we'll, we'll i'll be back in a sec with the first shirt right so this is the first shirt now this is not going to um this is going to upset many english football fans um it's the spain euro I think it might be the Euro shirt, it might not be, but it's a Spain national team shirt anyway. Um, I bought this because I like the colour combination. Um, I ordered it before the final, so um, I'm not trying to rub it in. But yeah, I mean, you've got the national, so this is not, I don't think this is the Euros one, I think this is the Nations League one actually. It's a really cool shirt anyway, I like it. And then on the back, you've got a little flower there by the looks of it, and then you've got because I got mine with badges, so I asked for these like particular badges. There's that one there on the sleeve, and then you've got. I think they cost me about a quid each to have on the shirt. So um, I just think it makes it makes them stand out a little bit better. Um, I love the the yellow. I'm never good. I'm never good with angles on this. Am I? Um, yeah, the yellow, like I said, the yellow bit here as well, trim or whatever they call it. But yeah, it's a really nice shirt. I love the colour combination, red and yellow. Um, like I said, I don't think it's the one they wore in the Euros, I think that's a little bit darker from what I remember, but I could be wrong. But it's a really good shirt. I really like it. And we'll see what it looks like on me in two seconds. 
So here's what it looks like on me. Um, a little bit tight, but fits me all right. It feels comfortable on me. As long as it feels comfortable on me, it, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, like I said, you've got the badges there. And that one as well. Uh, that's, that's been sewn on. That's been sewn on. That's been pink sewn on. But yeah, like I said, uh, a nice shirt. I like it for what it is. Um, wear this in the summer. I don't think I'll be wearing it till next summer now, though. I'm hoping by that point, England fans will have forgotten about the Euro final. Um, I did joke with my girlfriend saying that I bought this shirt and now I can't wear it. But, you know, you, you got to give Spain their due. They were the better team at the end of the day. That's just how it is. And I'm a proud Englishman. So, yeah. Um, right then, I'll be back in a sec with the next shirt. Right, so here's the next shirt. It's a PSG uh, Jordan shirt. I love that pattern. Look at that pattern. It's so cool. Um, I, I do like PSG shirts, so I'm going to start getting a few more of these. But um, I wanted to get the home shirt, but the com this company particularly, I, they didn't have any home shirts at the moment, so I'm going to have to wait for that. But yeah, for that, I love anything with Air Jordan, me anyway. Uh, I mean, like I said, I'm more of an old school Adidas kid, but I do like Jordan. I like Jordan more than like Nike stuff in general. Um, you got that, that's the back. And then on the sleeves, because I said I've got badges. So I don't know how good these will stay on the shirt when I wash it. Obviously, if I wash it inside out, it shouldn't be an issue. But you've got the big Champions League football there. Oh, I'm terrible at this, then I? Is that better? Much better. No, it's not. Hold on. Let me get this right. There you go. Yeah, well, that'll have to do. That'll have to do. You can see. There you go. Oh, took me a while to get there, didn't it? And then you've got the UEFA Foundation for Children badge again. Um, uh, this was already on the shirt, goat. So I assume that's either for Messi or Mbappe. I don't know. But I think this. I think this, look, Messi wasn't here when this one came out. This was last season. But yeah, like I said, it's a really nice shirt. And we, I like the combination of the colours, the gold, and the badge. Right, and we're gonna see what this looks like on the end. Right, so I won't be wearing this one out and about because it's it's very tight on me. And it's very short in length as well, as you can hold on, you can see. Look, so it's not ideal. So I won't be wearing that one. Um, I might wear it occasionally when I do a video. Like I said, I like the shirt. It's a nice shirt, but yeah, this won't be. This will this will probably be more likely one that I have hanging up behind me when I move into the uh, spare room. But it's a nice shirt. Like I said, from here, it feels nice. Um, it's just here, like always, but. In time, this might fit me perfectly because I might have lost more weight by that point. So I'm not going to chuck any of these shirts away in case I do lose three or four stone, which is what the aim is for the next 12 months. So yeah, but like I said, it feels nice to a point. It feels tight. I mean, I could wear it, and I, I, I'm just a bit self-conscious as you can tell. Look, it doesn't look good, does it? Um, some people probably won't, probably aren't as bothered as I am about what they look like. Um, but yeah. But yeah, nice shirt. Right there, we'll, we'll have the next shirt coming up. It's a Man United shirt. Um, I'm running out of Man United shirts to buy now, I think. So, yeah, next one's coming up in two seconds. Right then, so this is the next one. Man United one, I think this is one of probably the last ones I've had to get. Um, I think I've got all the Man United shirts now from the fake websites I've seen. I'm, I might be wrong, there probably is others, but um, these are the only ones in my size, probably. There's retro ones I won't be able to get because they sell. But yeah, you've got the, look at that, I love that Adidas badge there. And then you've got the Red Devil badge there as well. Um, Snapdragon, which is our new sponsor. And then you've got the uh, the Lion, Premier League Lion there as well. I think that one I asked for is extra um, on the back. You've got that little thing there. Um, yeah, nice shirt. Don't usually go for white shirts. Um, this one's a free XL as well, so I've took a chance. I don't think it will fit me, sadly, in hindsight. Um, I shouldn't have ordered it, but yeah, it is what it is. So this one probably won't be, I probably won't be wearing this one at any point. Not even to do videos, because it would just be too, too ridiculously tight and uncomfortable for me. But yeah, that's the, okay. Uh, and then you got the nice sponsor on there. Like so. Uh, like I said, I'm not very good with these taking these angles on the video. And then the trim. 
So we'll see what this one looks like on me. Hopefully it'll be all right. Actually, I'm pleasantly surprised. Obviously it's tight on me, but it feels the same as a four XL would fit on me. Feel on me, so it's tight, but I can wear it just about. It'd be all right. Uh, I might not wear it often out and about because it's a bit short. It's a bit short in the length um, as well, and it just it, it accentuates the, the, the belly too much. And because it's white as well. I don't want to wear it in case I get it dirty more than anything else, but I just bought it because it's a Man United shirt and I wanted to add it to my collection. It doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to wear every shirt that I buy. But yeah, like I said, it, it feels like a... There's that, there's that badge there. It just feels like a old school Adidas shirt as well. It's really nice. Really nice. Right, then, I'll be back in a sec with the last... Maybe the last shirt of the video. We'll see. Right, so this might be the last shirt of the video. Um, if it's not, it's because I've um, the other shirt come in a couple of days ago, so I managed to add it to the video. But we'll see. Anyway, for now, this might be the last. This might be the last shirt of the video. But yeah, this is the new Bay Mini Home shirt. I love this one. It's I love the the, the like a blood red, uh, as they call it, and it's really cool. I like the logos there. I don't mind the T Mobile badge either. Um, and then on the back, you've got you know BM uh, Munchen. Is I think they unique in German, wrong, but yeah. And then I love this. So I got the extra badges on it. So you got the uh, UEFA Foundation for kids, and then you got the the, the football. It's got a six, which I think represents how many times Bay Munich won the Champions League. I think that's what it is. Um, and then on this sleeve here, you've got. Uh, this not extra. This is part of the shirt. Alaneers. There you go. Um. It just feels like a really nice athletic wear type of shirt as well. Um, got the inside there, and then you've got the tag here as well. For people who want to see them. Oh. There you are. I mean, I'm more of a Dortmund fan than I am a Bayern Munich fan, but I just I do like both teams' their shirts as well. Um, I have got a Dortmund shirt, but uh, as I said, it didn't really fit me that well, so it put me off getting other fake. Dortmund shirts, maybe I might fork out a bit of money and buy a legit one. But we'll see what this looks like on me. Hopefully it fits me nicely. Right, so here he is on me. Um it took a it took a few seconds to get it on because the collar's quite tight. But it feels nice. It doesn't feel like the usual Adidas shirts. It's like a it's a weird I can't explain what the feel is, but it's not bad. It doesn't feel bad, but as you can tell it's very quite skin tight on me. I apologize if you can see this now when you're uh eating your dinner. But yeah, like I said, nice shirt. Um, quite long in length compared to the other ones that I've put on. There's a bit of leeway here. Still doesn't, you know, hide that. Nothing, nothing can hide this. Um, I tend to wear, if I'm not wearing football shirts, I tend to wear uh, wrestling shirts, usually in black. Usually quite big on me as well. Cause I, just don't, I don't like wearing clothes that are too tight on my belly. So yeah, like I said, nice shirt. A little spin for you again um but yeah that's about it really that's uh that's it for today thank you for watching um leave a comment if you have any questions or anything like that if you want to know more as i said in the, the last week's video it, there's a there's a discord channel called uh Trifino, Trifino? i can't I probably pronounce that wrong it's spelled t-r-e-q-u-i-n-h-o um his Discord is really good for people who want to get his his Discord channel is really good. Um, so basically, when you join, if you go on the rules and rule section, if you tick that straight away, or is it tick? I don't know if it's tick. Like it if you like it, the particular post. It then opens up all the other sections, and he's got a legit football shirt section, a fake football shirt, fake football shirt section. Um, and there's everything you need to know. There's there's a trusted seller list that he's got on there as well. He does YouTube videos as well if you want to go and give him a watch. Um, he does like football shirt, fake football shirt review videos as well. So he's he he's got loads of people on there, and they all buy, they all post the shirts that they buy and stuff like that. Really. So yeah, just give him a follow. I'm I'm not like associated with him. Anything. I just went on there randomly, um, and he's really helped me in finding suppliers of really good football shirts. So yeah, like I said, it is what it is. It cost me about 12 quid this. So, you know, I can't complain too much. Like I said, I will be loving these football shorts more when I lose this timber.
they'll fit me nicer. Um, if you're not as big as me, then definitely buy um, buy these shirts. But you want to probably buy if you get the player version, definitely buy a size up. But just it's just trial and error at the end of the day. It's only going to cost you like 11, 12 quid. If you don't get the sizing right when you order it next, get the size up. Eventually, you'll figure it out and then you'll be fine. But these are all, like I said, they're all really good condition shirts. Um, as always, when you're washing these, wash them in a quick wash, uh, 15 minute quick wash. Just turn the shirts inside out so the badges don't get ruined. Try not to buy shirts with names and numbers on the back. You can help it unless you really want to. Um, but, you know, hopefully doing this the way I tell you to wash them will protect them anyway. Um, do not use fabric softener, just use the normal detergent or the squiddy stuff that I use. Um, and then just hang them out to dry on the line. Do not put them in the tumble dryer. If you do all these things, these shirts will last you a long a lot longer than if you don't. So anyway, thank you as always. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, comment leave a comment if you that let me know which one you think which one you like the most, which shirt you like the most. And I'll be back with another video at some point soon. Alright, thanks a lot. Bye.